Here's Footmas Day 14. Monday the 14th of December, and it's just gone 10 o'clock. It's really nice out this morning, it's starting to shine in. It's lovely for December, yeah. Um, not to show yet, I'll just go pop, pop in the shower in a minute. And so I know that those because we're shopping this afternoon, sorry about the dog, because um, our neighbour's dog across the road. Um, and they always barks. <laughs> first thing in the morning. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go Christmas shopping this afternoon. She's um, got one more piece of uni work to do. So I told her, don't leave it this late again. So she said she won't. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pop in the shower and then, um, yeah, I'll catch you all in a bit. <laughs> my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within cause Christmas time is here A merry game they play Chasing each other to and fro Laughing all the way Oh, what a jolly time To have the whole family here For a few days of love has gone It actually was on a Christmas day You came my way that was upon a long ago The Bethlehem star must have shown the way that led you to me Now from Now you want to see me um, get ready, so I thought um, do a little get ready with me. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not too sure where we're going shopping um, this afternoon because so I've sort of got a few bits to do um, for uni. Um, but I might pop down the town anyway because I've got a few um, charity bags um, to take to the charity shop because they've been hanging around for a few days now. So I'm going to sort that out. This that be out of the way before Christmas. So yeah, but in the meantime, I'm going to go downstairs and make a cup of coffee. A bit later now, and I'm having a Chocker mock latte. Um, these are lovely. These are four and a half cents. Um, it just makes a change from a normal coffee. Um, but yeah, so I don't usually like um, sort of chocolate coffee or anything like that. But yeah, definitely like this one though. But um, yeah, so that's a chocolate mock mocha um, from this cafe. Oops, need to drop the phone there. So yeah, so um, I'm going to have this. Cheers. It's a bit later now, so I thought I'll tell you my top ten Christmas movies. I absolutely love Christmas movies. Um, I think I started watching Christmas movies um, by the end of October. I absolutely love them. Oh, um, you watch them on Netflix or Sky, and the other one, sort of, it's only Christmas or Christmas 24. Um, always got a Christmas movie on. I absolutely love them. I even watch them in Christmas in July. They do um, Christmas in July and Christmas 24. Yeah. So um, I've got a few on um, DVD, but not many because, um, as I said, I watch them on um, TV now. So yeah, so. Um, I'll um, tell you my top 10 Christmas movies. So number 10 is Christmas Chronicles. Um, this is quite new um, for me. It came out last year or the year before. I can't quite remember. It's got Kurt Russell and right at the end it's um, got Goldie Horn in it. I absolutely um, love these two. Um, it's about a brother and sister who try and kidnap 
um, Santa. Um, when things go wrong. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but um, yeah, so um, yeah, it's a really good film. And also they brought out Christmas Chronicles 2, which I've not watched yet, but um, it's got more Goldie Horn in it. Um, yeah, so um, that's Christmas Chronicles. The next is um, Elf. I've um, got Elf here. Um, it's about an elf who thinks he doesn't belong with all the other elves. And um, he thinks um, he's an orphan. Um, but then he discovers his father um, is still alive. So um, he goes to New York to try and find his father and um, he finds him but he finds he's on the um, naughty list. So um, yeah, I think he tries to um, get, um, get him into the Christmas spirit. And, um, yeah, I absolutely love Elf. So if you've not watched Elf, I definitely recommend Elf. So yeah, so that's Elf. Um, number 7 is Miracle on 34th Street. I absolutely love Miracle 34th Street. I much prefer the, um, the black and white version though. Um, yeah, just, just love Miracle 34th Street. I do, um, I do like um, the update version, 90, but it's 94. Um, so yeah, but I do prefer the older version. So um, it's about a man who thinks he's um, St. Nick, sort of, um, Chris Kringle. Um, he believes he's St. Nick, um, Chris Kringle. And, um, so something happens and then they get, um, they're taken to court and to find out if it is him and he's him and yeah um just absolutely love it um so i definitely recommend if you're not watching my god 34th street um do um another sort of christmas film um it's a movie, christmas movie so yeah number seven is christmas with the cranks and it's got jb lee curtis in um and, oh so funny absolutely love christmas with the cranks um but a couple's daughter who goes off and um, volunteers um, with the um, peace call and they think she's not going back for Christmas. So um, once um, they get home and everything and the husband says, you realise we spent um, loads of money on Christmas last year, why don't we, since the two of us go away this year on a cruise, and he books a cruise. Um, she did do an hour about um, going on a cruise, but then um, yeah, she started to look forward to um, going on a cruise. and then. Things happen with the neighbours, and they want um, some Christmas decoration that they always put on the roof um, at Christmas time. Um, but just as they're sort of planning to go, the daughter phones up and says she's going home with her boyfriend that she met. And yeah, so um, you have to get the neighbours in to help. And yeah, so I definitely recommend Christmas with Cranks if you've not watched it. It is so funny, I just love it. Um, number six is Deck the Halls, which I've got here. Um, let's take the halls, and it's got Danny Fumito and Matthew Baldwin in. Um, so funny, and a funny film. Um, Danny, which is um, Danny Fumito, um, he's just moved in um, to a new neighbourhood, and Matthew Baldwin is the family opposite. And sorry, not Danny, Buddy. Um, a, yeah, Buddy calls um, a bit of um, chaos. Um, he was. See his light on space and he buys loads of lights and puts all the lights around on his house and all around his house. And yeah, but eventually um, we did become friends. And yeah, so that is Deck the Horse. Brilliant film, definitely recommend it. So that's that. Um, number five is Sleepers in Seattle. I didn't even know this was a Christmas film, but um, it's now become a Christmas film. It's got Tom Hanks. Um, uh, it's, it's a, Really lovely film, just love it. Um, it's about um, Tom Hunter's character, it's lost his wife for a few years and just trying to um, get on with life and just really finding it hard. Um, and his son Jonah tries to um, fix him up with someone and he phones in the radio station and a lot of women start writing him letters. And um, yeah, so I just love that film. It's, um, so sort of like a remake of um, Fair to Remember. So I definitely recommend watching Super if you've not watched that. So yeah. Number four is The Holiday. Um, I did have that on DVD, but I can't find it anywhere. I think it's probably in my husband's collection. So um, yeah, The Holiday, it's got Cameron Diaz in, Jude Law, Kate um, Winsett and um, Jack Black. Um, I just sort of love all these actors and I love Jack Black. Um, so basically, um, Amanda, who is 
Cameron Diaz's character, Julius in LA, and I think she's a film director. And Kate Winslet is in the UK, and she's from kind of, um, I'm not sure what she does, I think she works in advertising. Um, and she's been having an affair with one of the colleagues in her office for years, and she thinks he's going to propose, but it turns out he's not, he's proposing to someone else. And basically, they, both the women have broken up with their partners. So um, they just want to get away, so they swap houses. Um, they pipe and that, and they swap houses. So um, Kate Winsor goes to LA, and Amanda goes to Kate Winsor's cottage in um, the UK. And um, yeah, so things happen. And it turns out that um, Amanda falls in love with um, Kate Winsor's brother. And um, I think it was Kate Winsor's character falls in love with. Um, Jack Black, who works for Amanda, so yeah, and yeah, so it's a really great film, absolutely love the holiday, so I definitely recommend watching it if you've not watched it, it's just a brilliant film. Um, number three is Home Alone, but Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, it is so funny, um, if you've not watched it, you must. Um, I mean, I do like Home Alone, but I just love Home Alone 2, because it's based in New York, and I absolutely love New York, I've um, been to New York a few times now, um, so it's about Kevin, who um, gets separated from his family, they're going to go to Florida, and then at the airport he thinks, um, he stops to fiddle about with his bag, and then he um, gets separated from his family, and he sees someone dressed in um, the same coat as his dad, and then he ends up on a plane to New York, and then, yeah, so it's just about when he gets up into New York, and um, he comes across the burglars again, who sort of burgled his house in number one, and realize, so yeah, just love the film, definitely recommend watching it. I mean, I've watched it over and over again, and yeah. Next is um, Christmas Vacation. This is so funny. Um, it's got Jeffrey Chase in there, Beth Angela, and um, Jeffrey Chase's character really wants a big family traditional Christmas, and it just shows you what he gets up to, and that it goes terribly wrong, and oh, it's just so funny. Um, and I love the neighbours as well. Um, but this was just a few stitches. Um, if you've not watched it, you should. Um, yeah, just so funny. Just love it. Um, yeah, I've watched it loads of times. Never get fed up with it. And that's that one. And the last one, which I do have on DVD as well, is Wonderful Life. I absolutely love this film. I've loved it for forever. Um, they have been mastered it to um, a good one, but uh, I so much prefer the black and white one. And James Stewart, I just love James Stewart. It's one of my faves. Um, so it's about George Bailey, um, he works in a little bank in um, this town and he's had a bit of a hard time. Um, he wants to deposit some money and he asks one of the workers, who's quite an old worker, but um, he forgets and one of the um, guys um, who owns all the firms and basically everything in town wants to buy the bank and he won't, he just wants to give it to him. Um, and he just um, had enough and he goes off and he says and, uh, he, wishes he, wasn't, he wish he wasn't alive and you he think he's going to jump um, into the river um, but um, his guardian angel saves him shows him what it would be like if he wasn't around eventually um, he sees sense and, um, and goes back so yeah, so that is a wonderful life absolutely lovely um, definitely recommend it and my favourite saying is Every time the bell rings, an angel gets his wings. So yeah. So um, that is my top ten Christmas movies. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, do let me know what your Christmas movies are in the comments below. And yeah. Later now, just gone seven o'clock. Just made myself a cup of tea. I've got the um, moon delights on there in the background. Um, yeah, just love them. Um, and I'm just about to watch Only Fields and Horses um, when they go to Miami. I love that one. Um, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my top ten. This is movies. Um, yeah, I've seen a few about on YouTube and um, watched Hales Bales um, the other day as well. So yeah, so in the meantime, I'm going to join my cup of tea and watch Only Fools. It's a bit later now, as you can see we're in a car, you probably can't see me. Um, but we're off to Sainsbury's to get a few bits in. And um, yeah, um, that's what I was just baking a bit later. And um, yeah, and that's me in a moment, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Oh, and it's not very nice at all, it's raining. Yeah, so, see you in a bit. I'm in space, please. Um, quite, quite 
that actually. Um, this was chocolate. I thought, yeah, that's all I said, it's nine. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the Christmas chocolate. Uh, Pops of um, Jacob's um, Selective um, Crackers. Christmas tags and bits for presents. So I'll show you a few bits um, we got in Sainsbury's. Um, sorry, sorry if you can hear Sarah, she's on a FaceTime call to her friends. So over the next few days Sarah's going to be doing a lot of Christmas baking. So I've got some eggs. Got loads of um, chocolate um, because so just chocolate is really good for baking. So um, if you do you want to, um, if you do any baking, I definitely recommend um, Sainsbury's chocolate for um, baking. So she's got loads of chocolate, um, some hazelnuts, um, some little tiny um, cupcakes because she's um, doing some version of fairy fry. Um, I'm not sure what she's doing, but I will show you. Um, and kind of a um, milk. Um, some chocolate spread for cooking, and these we got for Christmas. Some triplets, some mini cheddars. So I'm just laughing at Sarah laughing. Um, and so we've got um, some of our uniforms, some tripodine, and it's got someone a big um, bar of chocolate. Um, these aren't too bad actually, these are five pounds. So yeah, next we've got some um, pet sauce for Christmas. Um, and Jacob's um, Christmas crackers, all the different varieties there. Always got to have Christmas, and Christmas would not be Christmas without the TV magazine. And I can't believe it, it actually starts on Saturday. So, yeah, there's a few bits there we've got. It's that time now when it's the Advent hamper time, but I didn't do it yesterday, so we've got two today. So, I've um, got 13 here, which is that. Sofa link. Hmm, that's quite nice. Mango soap. Mango soap. It does smell quite nice. See, which is this one here? Vitamin C gel mist. Vitamin C gel mist. Oh, so that's what we got. Um, and the hamper today. Not too bad. Lovely. So as you see, I'm in bed. Um, so I'm going to do my shout out of the day. I usually do a YouTube shout out, but today I'm going to do um, an Instagram shout out. Um, this person, um, I just love her. She's a lovely lady. And some of you might know her as Annie Sparkles. Yeah, um, Annie, um, you know, I think we've become friends. and. Um, I'd just love to um, meet up with her, um, go for coffee if we live nearby and have a chat and yeah, she's just a lovely lady and she always leaves me some lovely comments on my videos, yeah, I just love Annie and on her Instagram she um, does little um, videos and it yeah, makes me laugh and um, yeah, and her dog um, Sammy, yeah, it's just lovely, um, so yeah, so I'm going to give Annie a follow, I'll leave Annie's um, Instagram handle in the description box below, um, her name is Anthe26954, I think I've got that right, but as I said, I'll leave um, her link in the description box below. Yeah, so go and give um, Annie a follow over on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to finish my Camel RT, um, watch a little bit of YouTube, and try and get some sleep. So that is me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell for more videos come. And I'll say night night and see you all tomorrow. Bye!